I want to give a massive shout out to Sam for this video. He is an absolute GOAT. I don't know how he always does it with all these legacy decks. So go subscribe to Sam. After you do that, guys, today's the very, very last day of Alestros Kickstarter. Last day. I know you guys have seen 20 videos of Alestros, but it's the last day. Last day to join the Kickstarter. Last chance, baby. Check out the link below before you guys regret it. Before this game blows up. I truly believe Alestros is going to be the next big card game. This Kickstarter has been absolutely remarkable. It has been a huge success. So make sure to join in. Join the hype train while we can. Guys, hope you enjoy this video, and let's go. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestros. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestros Card Game, available now on Kickstarter. I don't know how you keep doing this, Sam. First place, Blackwing deck profile. Bro, how do you how do you keep doing this, man? How? Okay, honestly, guys, I've been experiencing a lot of different decks with Steven. Like, have, have you reached this level now where it's like you have all this Real spare weird. time? So Real you weird. just take all the most garbage decks in the world? Hey, Sorry, hey, Blackwing chill, lovers. Chill, chill. <laughs> deck, deck isn't garbage. Isn't garbage. This isn't garbage. <laughs> like, last week, I, I took Heroes uh, to the tournament. So obviously, like, it's just a fun locals, like, you know, like, it's obviously not like a regional or YCS. It's a very fun locals. Uh, you know, our locals here at Dolly's are very competitive. They love tier elements, uh, you know, sprites and a lot of, like, rogue decks as well. Um, so so the rogue, rogue champion over here. Yeah, yeah, rogue mm -hmm. champion, man. The deck, deck is absolutely insane. Uh, first round, uh, tier elements. Bro, everybody play tiers now at locals. Like, there's a lot of Ishizu cards. Uh, so I literally designed to build this deck to just be tier. So first round was tier. Second round was sprite. Uh, next and the last two were still G elements. Uh, one of the most annoying uh, decks to deal with. But uh, if you build the deck properly, and like me and Steven actually use his logic together, yep. uh, al al alongside Walter, right? Like I think yep. you, you talked to Walter. Walter this. taught me this, and now we're gonna teaching the world yeah, this. Yeah, and I, I feel like it's the probably the best way to play any like rogue deck or any fun deck that you have. Obviously, I'm not I'm not saying that this will go nine zero in a tournament, but like at the, you know, like just a mini tournament that we had yeah. here. Uh, you know, just three OTS packs. It was it was a lot of players, only sixteen players. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't 20, so I, I only got three for first place. It was a free tournament, right? So when there's free tournaments here at Dolly's, you guys check it out if you're in Toronto. Yeah. I usually play a lot of fun decks and try to explore, I, adding new cards to the deck and just, yeah, awesome. I, th I think it's amazing. Awesome. Yeah. So everyone, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Make sure to check out Sam's channel. And let's go check out this amazing profile. All right, so Black Wings, this deck right here. Remember, the way I designed the bonus deck uh, was with Yassine. Um... Uh, I, I know there's a lot of Blackwing lovers and a Blackwings enthusiasts out there like Kanak Gaming. You know, I I'm a huge fan of Kanak. Uh, you know, I, I love his deck list, but uh, I felt like uh, the way we built the deck is because we play a lot of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, right? I'm yeah. not disregarding the fact that he doesn't play a lot of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, but I'm saying that like, I, like we've like theoried and studied like the meta so much, like, especially yeah. you and I, and we felt like this this version with the most. For example, like, would you rather put four in the gates consistently? No bricks in your deck, or would you put up eight in the gates with ten bricks? Yeah, of course, option one for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. you rather have consistency cards. Yeah. Obviously, the bigger the board, the more in the gates you have, but it comes with a drawback of you having more bricks in your deck. Yeah. Uh, and that's what not that's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying to just like three, four in the gates, hand traps. We're litty titty. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> we're really gonna try, like like as Steven says it when my my Bistio deck around when we came first the yeah. blue eyes deck profile, eyes bro I won with Branded Beast Spirit Dragon and Heretic Seal yeah like that's like or, three, yeah. that's three that's like three and a half in the gates yeah. Yeah. like you don't need ten the gates Steven no disrespect <laughs> okay? you have ten the gates which is a little bit decisive but hey, four, as long as it's consistent that's how I view Pendulum Magician this format as well it. as long that's as it's it. consistent and it beats the meta going second then you're you're golden that's it so first and foremost Triple Samoon uh, this card needs to get banned. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, gets her Black Whirlwind uh, start. This card is absolutely insane. Uh, yeah, this card's so good. Uh, next for the new Black Wing cards, uh, another Straddle Stun deck. Uh, triple copies of Black Wing Sudri. This card is actually really, really insane as well. You guys already know these are standard three ofs in the deck. And they buffed my boy Vayu, you know what I'm saying? They give him uh -oh. pants. You know what I'm saying? They give him <laughs> pants in a suit. Triple copies, of course, Yat Vata uh, in the deck right here. One of the great, you know, the, the I would say the trinity of the entire new Black Wing deck just revolves around these uh, these nine cards right here, which you must play in the entire deck. Um, 
Dolly's about to close soon, so I'm not gonna further explain. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like li literally right yeah. now, whatever time is it? Like 10 p.m. Yeah. yeah, 10 p.m. right now. They're just trying to close, but yeah, I just came off. But well, they have to see Blackwing greatness first, to, obviously. To, yeah. To. So yeah. Uh, yeah, these cards right here, great tuner, uh, great searcher, and obviously get Jacks the Black Rowan, yeah. uh, which is actually really really good. So the main nine definitely you got to max on actually yeah. playing all nine in the deck. These are the main uh, ones, which is really really good. Uh, next off, triple copies of Borrow the Spear, the best extender in the deck, alongside with Chris. Uh, no no point of playing two two like these. This does the same thing as this. It Accomplishes you the exact same thing. Gives you a free body yep. on board. Give you access to more synchros uh, in the entire deck, right? Uh, so and that's pretty much it, of course. The four extenders, more extender Zephyros, uh, really good. Uh, one black wing, Oster, gets you tokens with the, alongside our full armor master, mm -hmm. uh, which is absolutely insane. It summons a free monster from the banish zone, uh, which is really, really good. So the one of us, the one uh, Roshi, one copy of Chinook, uh, one copy of, of course, Shamal, one, and, and last but not, and last but not least, the one Harmaton to run off from the one of us. You guys can play Gale uh, if you guys would like. Remember, guys, when you guys look at these deck lists, right? It is just, this is how. I, I just have to play the deck. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to play this exact deck list. I just want to give you guys a template, you know, for you guys to better understand on how to play any other card. Like, like good guy, Sam. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we build templates, except for Steven. Steven wants you to play his deck because he's a genius. <laughs> you play anything wrong, you're wrong, right, Steven? Facts. But like for decks like these, like and like yeah. you know, the ratios are optimal preference. You can yeah. play Gale. You can play Bayou. It's all optimal preference. But I feel like those cards just, you know, I feel like they're just just awkward. I don't know, man. I don't really like Gale. You know, it's like you're not being over Star Strike anyway, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so, a different form of Yu Gi Oh! Yeah, so it's just these are just like all the one ofs you need. Um, you don't need value, I, I don't think so. I just I don't think you need value. Here we go. Uh oh, <laughs> anti tillament time. I love you, would hate me, bro. It's hey, great, anti tillament, baby, you gotta do it. Oh, you need to, man. Uh, two of these ends of the let's turn. And are you are we playing any other hand traps? Oh, uh oh! <laughs> uh, y'all gonna hate me, bro. God, hey, this is this is the format, guys. Um, like, if, if you want to take a rogue deck, you gotta run something like this, yeah. or Mystic Minds, or something to counter the yeah. degeneracy that's going on with the meta, right? I, honestly, like to be honest, I actually like the way this. I like the state of the where the game is right now. I love I, it too. I, I, you know what's the best deck. You know how to beat it. So just build your deck to beat it. It's I, actually very simple. Uh, Steven was the one that taught me about this entire engine. Um, this is insane. These are interchangeable with gold spells, but obviously with the Bistids, these might be a little bit like the gold spell is not as good because mm -hmm. it's dark, so you can easily summon it out. Obviously, it's bad against you, is because your opponent can summon out your Bistid monsters, but your entire deck is dark anyway, so they're yeah. always going to be able to summon Bistids. Uh, but uh, yeah, man, you need to play Bistids in the deck. Uh, just constant recursions. Not only that, is that they're their beat sticks which you get access to in the deck which is really good also getting access to wallow is absolutely insane so yeah. uh, wallow in this format is absolutely ridiculous i love to play these uh this engine right here i think it's very very strong and uh, it's also very very powerful great disruption engine and you have these 15 uh to counter the meta like any of these two or any of like if you open up with more visits and a hand trap like two black wing monsters like samoon and also like shudri mm -hmm. like shudri is also like a one card combo both in itself uh samoon is like a one one, one for five card combo the card is really strong to help get your combo pieces going right but to pair off alongside hand traps i feel like this is the best version uh to play the deck i know not all people can like it i know you guys want to play phantom knights and boots and fog blade and all those other cards but you know, like, these are just 15 inter interchangeable cards you guys can use in the deck. But if you want to do well, and this is the, honestly, like, I'm going to be honest, like, the Black Wings are good, but these are the cards that wins games. You know, like, yeah. obviously, like, you, you build your board uh, with, of course, Forearm Master. Like, Forearm Master alongside with, the, you know, Austin hey, the Graveyard yeah. and just these. Like, you win the duel. You're going to need defensive cards. Think of, like, other formats, like Prank It format or whatever. Yeah. You're going to need, like, at least two hand traps. Exactly. This is the same idea. Exactly. If you just see two, you're fine. But then the other 25 in your deck. Exactly. Like, as long as it's a good deck, like Black Wings that does stuff. Yeah. And it's like a two-card combo deck, right? Yeah, exactly. Two-card two combo yeah. deck. Of your spells, of course, the one Black Feather Whirlwind. Absolutely insane. One of the best recurring cards in the deck. And it's also searchable as well, uh, which is really good. And last but not least, triple copies of Black Rowan. Uh, one of the best cards ever to be printed in the game. This with some moon, multiple copies of this is insane. Alongside with Zephyros the Elite, bouncing this back to your hand to just continue off your combo plays. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And to ensure that your combos always goes through, uh, you're going to play, of course, triple copies of Prosperity. Amazing. You have to play this. Like, you yeah. have to. Like, any two card combo deck, uh, you need Prosperity, man. Yeah. If you're not playing Prosperity, what are you doing? And last but not least, the one copy of the one black 
Wing Twin Shadows gets you access to, of course, Descendant, which helps you pop multiple cards on the field. So your form of disruption is going to be, you know, mainly just this. Yeah. And also alongside your Synchros, like, of course, your Archfiend, uh, you know, right here, Archfiend Abyss. You also have your Wallow uh, right here, which is also really, really nice. Or Nightmare, even Nightmare, even Evil Storm Nightmare as well, uh, which is actually really, really good. And this card right here is super duper underrated. Uh, I think it's oh, yeah. really strong. Double Interruption built in one, yeah. uh, which is really great. And, you know, like, Farm Master, Descendant, just this to pop. And like this is just like really really strong uh, in my personal opinion it's also really consistent as well and like even just like full arm master just like an acres attack right here that comes up with a with a with a hot red abyss with like yep. with like a magnum or yeah, like one hand 15, trap like 15 hand traps on top 15 hand traps on top like gg you, you don't need 10 negates you don't need kaliuga you don't yeah. need to yeah. it's unnecessary you know yeah. you, you you don't need rusty yeah i never i never needed it once just uh, focus on advantage and just be yo, done with those okay my logic is if you're playing rusty Boots, you know the Phantom Knights. Yeah. Why play Black Wings? Yeah. Play, Phantom, play Phantom Knights. You're just make. You're just playing a worse Phantom Knights. Yeah. You get me? Yeah. Like just stick to Phantom Knights. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why like I try to make it as simple as Black Wings as possible. So this is, I believe, just the perfect way to play Black Wings in my personal opinion. All right. Uh, next off for the extra deck, of course, uh, one four master cards of towers can't beat it. Uh, Descendant, no thong. One evil swarm nightmare. Uh, one wallow cards broken. This card's so good. That is a great <laughs> and last one, at least one wise trick. So nice. off all the cards in your extra deck. So next, really uh, simple. If you guys want to further see more combos, you guys can check out my channel where I go in depth. Uh, literally, people are just waiting for us to just leave right now. And a whole huge shout out to Dolly's for helping me do this profile. But yeah, guys, link will be down below. Shout out to Steven. And uh, yeah, anyways, congratulations. Thank you, bro. Yeah, no, congratulations to me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, guys, if you want to win, you gotta adapt, baby. You gotta adapt. That's it. Thank you for the profile, bro. Everyone, make sure to smash the subscribe button. Check out Snapchat. Check out my channel. Check out links below. Thank See you. See you guys next video. Peace. Thank you. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game. Available now on Kickstarter.